watching The Karina Show, and on my blog, my YouTube channel, I like to focus on the small businesses because small businesses are the backbone of America, y'all. They are. And in this video, we're going to show you some of the highlights from Clarita Sweets and more, their ribbon cutting that was yesterday. Let me tell you why I like small business owners so much. Because I'm a small business owner, okay? Me and my husband co-own Easy Access Technologies together. And it's a lot of work, and we put a lot of our blood, sweat, and tears into this business. So that's why I like to, um, you know, be around other small business owners. Birds of a feather flock together, okay? So um, I like hearing other people's journeys that they have. I'm very interested, you know, to know their story. So in this video, you'll hear about um, the startup of Clarita Sweets and more. And Derek Thomas, one of the owners, he goes into a little bit of details about, um, you know, how he turned like an obstacle into an opportunity, which to me is very inspiring because I think, okay, you know what? You, life throws us curveballs and, you, you know, you, you can either overcome it, you can get hurt from it, or you can learn from it and grow from it. And that's exactly what he did. So, uh, kudos to him and cheers to them. And I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see some of the best clips from the ribbon cutting that they had yesterday. I'm a big fan. So you guys check out Clarita Sweets and More. They're in Brenham, Texas. And that's it, guys. Watch the video. It's not that long. So we're here with Derek for Clarita Sweets and More. And we're going to begin with an invocation from the Growing and make sure you tell them about the truck you have also. Yeah, so I'd like to say thank you first um, to my wife for being behind me at the whole, all of this and her name is Shamika Thomas. Um, thankful for all you guys coming out. My pastor here and his wife, Pastor T from Grace, um, uh, Clarita, thank you for coming out, friends of ours. They also work, her and her husband help me work on the place and just all, all support is really overwhelming. I, 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 I didn't I, I, I knew I wanted to join the chamber because I, I thought well, it, was, it was an important part of the city of wherever you are and in the community, but I didn't expect this the support that we're having and then for, for all the, the notoriety that we're getting. And it's just so good to be in a community like this in Brenham and in Washington County because we have, I, I can't, there's countless families that come out on a daily basis and sit in these snow cones with their kids now, and they're all telling me how great it is for um, for uh, 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 readers to be here now. It's, it's really overwhelming, and I feel very blessed and excited to continue to go here and just to continue to, to put out good quality products and and have a, a great staff that stands behind me. Uh, just uh, we always get. Like on the um, Google, we always get how great our staff is, and we we employ the local high school kids, all of them, and they all are happy to come to work. Um, I stand behind them in their schooling, and I, I try to act as if I'm just like a father figure to them. Make sure if you're not, if you didn't go to school, you definitely don't come to work. So that's a, that's a thing with me. And they, they so, and if you, I was sick, but it, what I'm going to say, I was sick. I didn't go to school. Can I come to work? I'm like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> and thank you for all helping me get this the word out because we sit um, uh, more than 100 yards off the road and there are people who come even almost daily and say, we didn't know you were here. We didn't know you were here. And they pass here every day. So I'm still trying to get more signage out and more notoriety and that um, that social media is relentless. We just, we pound at that so we can try to get the word out. now have a trailer and we've been out to several of the uh, community uh, churches, uh, schools, and all the events that we can go to, to just bring this, 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 the snow cones are just joyful and I grew up on them and once, I, I think I went two seasons without having one here and I, I can't take it no more. So I had to, I had to do something and, I, and this has been blessed ever since and I can't, and 
I, I don't know, it's just been so good because the Wednesday I got laid off from Emerson, the biggest company almost in Brenham, it was the same weekend at the grand opening of this place. I'm like, okay, so now I'm 100% snow cone selling. <laughs> and that was a great thing, and uh, but through COVID and everything, we, we've been blessed and we're open year round and we're open, um, our hours fluctuate depending on the season. We're back to school, so we shorten the hours up. Um, our hours are longer during the summer. Like I said, we have the snow cone trailer. Right now, the trailer is at Lynn College, and we're serving all the freshmen and all the new students come in, snow cones right now, and the line is almost around the corner. They're just, <laughs> they, they, they loving it. So, and I thank you all for coming out, and I thank um, everyone for uh, supporting uh, Clarita. snow cone i like banana banana's my favorite i feel like banana smoothie or no banana snow cones uh are, are one of the best flavors i also like tiger's blood so there's that 